So today we're going to have a look at LUTs in Photoshop. But what is an LUT? Well, let's dive in and find out. So an LUT in Photoshop is what we call a lookup table or a color lookup table. Now it maps one color into another and it's a technique that Hollywood have used for many, many years to kind of stylize and grade and make the, the movies a little bit more cinematic. But we're going to apply this kind of technique into photography to make a quite a distinctive and maybe more professional look to your images in just a couple of simple clicks. So we're working with this little street shot here, which is thought was quite pretty and it had a lot of different textures um, and lots of different kind of colors in there. So we can see how different LUTs affect such an image. So all we're going to need to do in terms of activating our LUT is coming down to our adjustment layers at the very, very bottom of our layers panel. So right in the far corner, all we need to do is just click on it and then come up to Color Lockup. So it won't be written as LUT, it's Color Lockup. And now straight away, it's applied an adjustment layer on top of our image here. But we've got lots of different options as to what type of LUT we actually apply. Now we can load our own one in. So if you either create your own or if more so popularly, if you actually download one from the internet, you can kind of um, add one to this list here. So you can have customized options at the top that you may have made yourself, but then you've got lots of presets that are already built in. So let's just kind of have a look through and see what kind of effects. Now these are a little bit similar to presets in a way that some of them will really work for your image, some of them will look horrendous. So it's not a case of one fits all. And again, you may want to go back and still add further adjustments on top, but it's just worth knowing what the options are and potentially what they can do for your image because they may change the style of your image really, really quickly. If you're not into using presets in Lightroom, then this is a slightly similar yet alternative way, but obviously doing it within Photoshop. So let's kind of click on a couple of these and we'll actually go down the list one by one and you can actually see some of the different effects. So this is called a two strip. And then we've got a three strip, which is not too far off from how our original was, maybe the bit more uh, uh, saturation. Now, as I said, some of them will just look horrendous and just not look that good at all. But it's not to say that as you apply the LUT, you may think, no, this is an awful idea and skip to the next one because there's still changes that you can make. Say, for example, if you stopped here on this image, now this is, as it is, pretty awful. Hopefully you'll all agree. It's kind of quite blown out. But we could go to our layers panel and also then reduce the opacity of this effect. So we're softening the idea a little bit. So from where it was before, we've just brightened it, made it a little bit more richer in the highlights. So there's still opportunities to tweak things a little bit further. But let's just go through a few more and, uh, and see what other effects we can uh, muster up. So there's others that maybe look a little bit more vintage, a little bit more sepia, take out much, you know, levels of contrast there to make things a bit more flatter. And we'll have a look again at some others. Some that are a bit cooler, a bit more natural. Again, quite overcooked. But they are very, very stylized ideas, each one of them. So again, it depends upon the actual image that you're working on as to what's going to work well and what won't. But they can potentially add quite a nice little style to your image. If you want them to keep a bit of consistency across a number of images, you can apply the same LUT individually to each of your photographs. So you know you're going to get a similar kind of color values uh, and similar tones. So in terms of our shot, I quite like this, this Fuji Eterna. Um, LUT here. Now this is basically taken from a film stock. So it's effectively recreating the style of old 35 millimeter film. Um, some of them may be Kodak ones. I think there is, there is Fuji and Kodak ones in this list here. Yeah, there is a couple of different versions. So if you're kind of uh, familiar with using a lot of 35 millimeter film years ago, you can kind of recreate that style actually in your digital photographs. So as I said, you can still make changes that little bit further to your lookup table. You can reduce the opacity and increase it. Same again with the fill. You can make those little changes just if you want to soften the effect of that little bit further. But either way, that's just giving you a very, very brief overview as to what LUTs can do in Photoshop. Hopefully you've enjoyed this tutorial again. Keep looking out for iPhotography for more and have a look at some more iPhotography courses at iPhotography.com. Thank you very much for watching.